Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, module on boot volumes. We have already covered boot volumes in under the compute uh, lecture series. So I'll really go through this uh, really fast uh, because we already covered it. Uh, but if you, have, if you haven't yet watched that lecture, lecture series, it's, it's, it's good to recap some of the key points here. So compute instance is launched using operating system image stored on the remote boot volume, right? We talked about this earlier. You have a compute instance, you have uh, a block volume where you keep your data and applications. Uh, and then you have boot volume, which is a special kind of a block volume uh, where your operating system is, is stored. Uh, and uh, uh, the boot volume is created uh, automatically and associated with an instance uh, until you terminate the instance. Um, and all the characteristics of block volume carry over to the boot volume. Um, if you want to uh, launch another instance with a boot volume, uh, first what you have to do is create a custom image of your boot volume. And then using the custom image, you can launch uh, the new ins new uh, instance, right? Uh, alternatively, you can launch a new instance directly from an unattached boot volume if you don't wish to create a custom image, right? So those two options are available. Delete boot volume, you can delete an unattached boot volume, and you can optionally choose to automatically delete the boot volume when terminating an instance by selecting the checkbox in the delete confirmation dialog, right? We have seen this in some of the earlier uh, demos. Uh, if a boot volume is directly attached to an instance, you cannot delete it, right? Makes straightforward. Uh, and then uh, all the things you could do with block volumes, you could do with boot volumes, right? So you could do manual backups, you could do a policy-based backup, you could create clones of boot volumes. Uh, there are a couple of things you could do with boot volumes. You could use, uh, attach a blue boot volume to an instance as a block volume for troubleshooting, right? This comes up in the exam. Uh, if you have a, a boot volume which is having an issue, how do you do troubleshooting? Uh, you, well, you can uh, you can follow some of these steps here, uh, and I'm not going to go into these details because we covered this in some of these in the compute uh, module. Uh, you could you could attach the boot volume to an instance as block volume and do uh, trouble tr troubleshooting. Uh, we also looked into this earlier. You could create custom boot volumes. The default size for Linux is 46 gig, for Windows is 256 gig, but nothing stops you from going all the way, let's say, to 32 terabyte. You don't need that much space, but you can, of course, uh, go well beyond uh, the, the default uh, sizes. So with that, let me quickly jump to the console and show you the boot volumes in action. We have again looked into these in the, in the compute um, uh, um, section, but let's quickly look into this uh, again here. So if I go into my uh, compute uh, section, you can see boot volumes here, right? And remember boot volumes are a special kind of block volumes uh, where you keep your operating system and you boot from them, right? Other than that, everything else is exactly the same as block volumes. So as you can see here, uh, you can assign a backup policy. You can, you can create a backup. Uh, you could do uh, cloning. Uh, and uh, and you can of course you know you can terminate the, the you can create a manual backup etc. The reason you are, some of these options are grayed out is because these instances are running. So if I find an uh, instance, uh, uh, first thing I could do is I could delete an instance and I could decide to keep the 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 uh, boot volume. So if I come here, I can say terminate, and it says permanently delete the attached boot volume. Right? I don't want to do that. So let me just uh, terminate this instance and keep uh, the boot volume, right? And I want to show you a couple of things we could do with that. So if I go here into the boot volume, probably would take a few seconds. But you would see that this boot volume would be now uh, available, right? And I could uh, I could come and create an instance out of that boot volume. Uh, right here, I could do things like manual backups. So if I want to do a backup of the boot volume, I could just cr create a backup here and there there you go i could create a backup of the boot volume i similarly i could do clone uh, looks like this boot volume is now available because the instance is terminated i could actually create an instance out of this boot volume right uh, and uh, again we have covered this in the compute section uh, but but i could use the boot volume to spin up a new instance so hopefully this gives you a quick uh, overview of the boot volumes and uh, how they behave uh, if you haven't watched the compute uh, lecture series, probably you should go watch that. We'll talk a little bit more uh, in detail on, on the boot volumes. So uh, with that, thank you so much for watching this uh, lecture series on block volume. Uh, hopefully you found it uh, useful. Uh, if you have time, uh, please join me in the this next lecture series where we talk about the OCI object storage service. Thank you.